Have you ever wondered if there were other planets in our solar system that no longer exist? Let's take a journey back in time around 4.6 billion years ago to the very beginning of our solar system. It all started with a giant molecular cloud in a quiet corner of the galaxy. A small part of this cloud began to collapse under its own gravity, giving birth to what we now know as the Sun. But the story doesn't end there. Around this young Sun, a disk of dust and gas started to form, setting the stage for the creation of the planets. Tiny particles began to stick together, forming larger and larger clumps until they grew into the size of planets. But not all of these planets survived. The solar system was a chaotic place in its early years, collisions were frequent, and some planets may have been ejected from the solar system or even destroyed. It was during these chaotic early years that some planets may have been lost. So, what happened to these lost planets? Let's dive into some theories that might answer this question. One of the most intriguing theories is the fifth giant hypothesis. This hypothesis proposes that, in the early days of our solar system, there was a fifth gas giant. But where is it now? The theory suggests that gravitational interactions with Jupiter could have catapulted this planet out of the solar system entirely. Just imagine, a planet once part of our cosmic neighborhood, now wandering alone in the vast expanse of interstellar space. Then there's the mysterious planet Ve. This hypothetical world is believed to have existed between Mars and the asteroid belt. Some scientists think that Planet 5 could have been a victim of a catastrophic collision. This collision might have not only obliterated Planet 5, but also created the asteroid belt as we know it today. Another theory suggests that some planets could have succumbed to a fiery end, plunging into the Sun under the influence of gravitational forces. These planets, once vibrant and dynamic, might have been reduced to nothing more than solar dust, their existence only a memory etched in cosmic history. But these lost planets aren't just fascinating enigmas. They're also important pieces in the puzzle of our solar system's history. Their very existence and subsequent disappearance could have shaped the orbits and destinies of the planets we're familiar with today. For example, the ejection of the fifth giant could have caused a reshuffling of the other gas giants, leading them to their current positions. The destruction of Planet 5, on the other hand, could have played a role in Mars' evolution, influencing its climate and potential for life. These lost planets are more than just a curiosity. They could hold the key to understanding our solar system. By studying these lost worlds, we're not just exploring the past, we're also gaining insights that could shape our understanding of the future. We're piecing together the story of our home in the cosmos, one lost planet at a time. But how can we know these planets existed if they're not here anymore? you might wonder. The answer lies in the cosmos themselves, in the celestial debris and cosmic imprints that tell tales of their existence. Let's start with the unusual asteroid orbits. Asteroids, those rocky remnants from the early solar system, are like breadcrumbs leading us back in time. Their peculiar orbits suggest they were influenced by something more substantial than them, something with a gravitational pull strong enough to sway them off course. These something, we believe, were the lost planets. Additionally, a certain distribution of meteorites provides clues. Meteorites are fragments of asteroids that have fallen to Earth. Some of these space rocks contain rare elements and isotopes that are not naturally occurring on Earth. The presence of these unique components indicates that they were formed under conditions vastly different from those on our planet, conditions that could only be present on another world. Now you might be wondering, how can we be so sure about these assumptions? Well, that's where computer models come into play. These digital simulations allow us to recreate the early solar system, right down to the minutest detail. We input all the known variables, the mass and size of the sun, the gravitational pull of the planets, the composition of asteroids, and so on. As the model runs, it shows us how the solar system would have evolved over billions of years. If the model produces a solar system similar to ours but with a few extra planets that later disappear, it gives weight to our theory about the lost planets. In short, although these planets may have vanished from the physical realm, they have left behind a cosmic trail. A trail that we, with our evolving technology and persistent curiosity, continue to follow. While we may never be able to observe these planets directly, their fingerprints are all over our solar system. Why does it matter if there were other planets in our solar system, you might ask? Well, these celestial mysteries can help us piece together the story of our solar system's formation and evolution. 
Each lost planet with its unique composition and orbit holds clues about the early environment of our cosmic neighborhood. Moreover, these lost worlds could shed light on the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. If planets once existed in our solar system that were vastly different from the ones we know today, it broadens our understanding of the types of planets that could support life. Imagine this. If a planet once existed in the habitable zone of our solar system and harbored life, what does that say about the possibilities elsewhere? Are we truly alone, or is the cosmos teeming with life? These lost planets remind us that our solar system is not a static place, but a dynamic and ever-changing environment. So, could there have been other planets in our solar system? This question has led us on an incredible journey through time and space. We've revisited the birth of our solar system, a tumultuous period of cosmic history when planets were still forming and chaos was the order of the day. We've also delved into the intriguing theories about the lost planets. These celestial bodies, which might have existed in the distant past, are only known to us through hints and indirect evidence. From their potential sizes and orbits to their possible fates, these theories have given us a glimpse into a different solar system that might have been. We've examined the evidence that supports these theories. The unusual orbits of certain objects, the peculiarities in the asteroid belt, and the anomalies in the outer reaches of our solar system. And we've explored the implications of these findings. From reshaping our understanding of planetary formation to challenging our perception of our place in the cosmos, the idea of lost planets has opened up new frontiers in our quest for knowledge. While we may never know for sure, the possibility of lost planets adds another layer of mystery to our amazing solar system.